The most expensive ticket of Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer was sold for 2450 rupees at PVR Icon IMAX Theatre at Phoenix Palladium Mall in Mumbai. While IMAX tickets are more expensive than regular 2D cinemas, what is it that drives such high demand for the IMAX experience among moviegoers? IMAX is a motion picture film format. Developed in Canada in the 1970s, IMAX offers an immersive movie watching experience with its large screens. It consists of a system of high resolution cameras, film formats, film projectors, and film theaters. Screens of IMAX theaters have a tall aspect ratio of 1.43 is to 1 or 1.9 is to 1. The screens can be 18 by 24 meters in size. The largest screen is in Leonberg, Germany, measuring 38.8 meter by 21 meter. Unlike traditional theaters, the IMAX film standard uses 70 mm film run through the projector horizontally. This delivers up to 40% more images due to its high-resolution 3D technology. IMAX theatres are also equipped with precision-tuned integrated sound systems so that audio is reproduced with clarity and positional accuracy. This also allows audiences to feel the sounds instead of just listening to them. An IMAX theatre is also designed with steep seating to allow for an unobstructed view of the screen from any place. The theatres also run two projectors simultaneously to balance the warmth and sharpness of the film. Adlabs IMAX in Wadala, Mumbai was the first IMAX theatre to open in India in 2001. Since then, IMAX has had a slow growth in India with only 23 theatres nationwide. The company plans to open six more theatres in India by the end of 2023 and open a total of 100 screens in the next five years. IMAX Corporation is also working to release more Indian films in its theatres. Doom 3 was the first Indian film to be released in 2013 and Patan was the first movie to be filmed using an IMAX camera released earlier this year. A ticket to an IMAX theatre ranges between 500 to 1,200 rupees, depending on location, film, day and timing. So far this year, Patan and Adi Purush were released by IMAX. The company, however, has plans to release a total of 10 to 12 Indian movies this year. The recovery for movie theatres has been gradual since the COVID-19 lockdowns. The release of Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer has brought a renewed interest in high-quality immersive movie experiences in India. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's moving from employee to employer. Business Standard